Yes, I mean, if you look back, I, I can't believe it's 40 years ago now, uh, but 40 years ago when Bill Rasmussen, our founder, got fired by the uh, New England Whalers of uh, WHA before they were in the NHL, uh, and he had this idea for a sports network, uh, he really needed the trifecta of deals to make it work. He needed distribution with the RCA company for satellite distribution, which nobody distributed television signals via satellite, so that was new. Uh, he needed a uh, sponsor, uh, so our friends at Anheuser-Busch anted up. But then you have the, the nasty problem of what are you going to program 24 hours a day? Mm -hmm. And if it wasn't for the contract that he did with Walter Byers and the NCAA in those years, there may not have been an ESPN. Uh, Bill negotiated what he called his cornerstone contract, which seems sort of quaint today, but it was for 400 to 500 events a year. And Tom O'Jackson and Mr. Oresco, they know these, this history in these days well. It didn't include any uh, live college football, but the, the, the vision was one event a day right. fueled by this cornerstone contract with the NCAA for 400 to 500 events a year. So uh, he did that deal. He did the AB deal. He did the deal with RCA, and ESPN was born uh, you know, 39 and a half years ago uh, with college sports as its backbone. And it's truly, without that contract, the company... May it was a very tenuous startup. It may not have ever developed. So it, college sports have been the backbone. 